time for my 10th John Carpenter game, Wants to Be a Millionaire, the Family Entertainment Edition for the DVD. Select the difficulty and category of questions you'd like to play. Adult Sport. Excellent. You've chosen to use your sporting knowledge to boost your bank account. I bet you're confident of winning huge amounts of money, so let's get the first five easy questions out of the way. Have a look. For a hundred pounds, uh, which phrase proceed? What phrase precedes bowls to give the name of a popular sport? Head blue, skull white, hat red, crown green. That be crown green. That's right. For one hundred pounds. Question number two. For two hundred pounds, uh, what nationality is this famous ex-footballer? French, American, Brazilian, Welsh. May he rest in peace, Pele. Well done, that's the right answer. Question number three. Which Olympic sport was the first female Olympian? Is it swimming, 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 Ankle. That'd be a leg. Well done. You've won 300 pounds. Question number four is for 500 quid. For 500 pounds. The men pictured here are both gold medal winners for Britain in which Olympic sport? Swimming, cycling, boxing, wrestling. That'd be swimming. You seem pretty sure that that was the right answer. And rightly so, it is. Well done. <laughs> this is the last chance that you could leave us with absolutely nothing. Please don't do that. Here comes question number five. For a thousand pounds. In 2006, which team won promotion back to the Football League after 44 years? Akritostani, Gateshead, Corinthian Casuals, Barrow. That'd be Akritostani. You've given me the right answer. Well done. Question number six. Which team won promotion For two thousand pounds. In which British sport are Martin Pipe and his son David leading figures? Show jumping, rallying, horse racing, triathlon. It's up horse racing. You have one thousand pounds. You've now got two thousand. Right. Question number seven. Which For four thousand pounds, what nationality is the world championship winning rally driver on the left? Finnish, Spanish, Scottish, German. That'd be Scottish. You had two thousand pounds. I can tell you, it was the right answer. You doubled your money to four thousand. Do you think that's Colin McRae on the far left? Halfway point in this game. The Tiro card that won the 1976 Swedish Grand Prix had which unusual feature? Six wheels, enclosed cockpit, parachute brakes, or passenger seat? The Tiro P34 is what's called a six wheeler. If this is wrong, you lose £3,000. But it's not wrong. Two years later, uh, the Brabham PT46B won the 78 Switch Grand Prix, which is known as the fan car. Now, 
thousand pounds is a lot of money. That's how much you can win by giving me the right answer to question number nine. The drop, if you get this wrong, though, has gone up to seven thousand. So think carefully before you give me an answer. For sixteen thousand pounds. Butch Harmon is a well-known instructor in which sport? Tennis, golf, snooker, rugby. That be golf. You had eight thousand pounds. You decided to play this question, and you'll be glad you did. It's the right answer. You just won sixteen thousand. He's the best of being a Tiger Woods' coach in golf. Well, a magnificent performance from you so far. Nine correct answers, and you've not yet had to use any of your three life lines. If you can give me a tenth correct answer, you guarantee yourself thirty-two thousand pounds. <laughs> I must remind you that at this stage, if you do give me a wrong answer, you drop right back to one thousand. Have a look at this question. Take your time. Tell me if you want to play. For thirty-two thousand pounds, since the official ranking started in nineteen eighty-six, which golfer has never been world number one? Fred Couples, Ian Woolsnow. John Daly, VJ Singh. That be John Daly. If this is right, you've won thirty-two thousand pounds. It is right. You're assured of a big win. Yeah. Hmm. For 64,000 quid, which horse gave the 18 year old Lester Pickett his first Epson Derby win? Nijinsky, Roberto, Sir Ivor, Never Say Die. That would be Never Say Die. Well, you had 32,000 pounds. You now have 64,000 pounds. What a performance this is turning out to be. was the um, horse that was picking roads to the uh, 1970 British Triple Crown, which is the last time a Triple Crown performed in British starboard racing. 125,000 pounds. <laughs> it's a lot of money, and it's what I could be giving you if you can give me the right answer to the next question. You do stand to lose the 32,000 you've just won if you do give me a wrong answer, though, at this point. Here comes question number 12. For £125,000, how old was this legendary racehorse when he was won this race for the third time? 10, 8, 6, 12. He was 12. Once you've said this is your final answer, you know there is no going back. Are you sure? Yes. It's not often people get to say this question. You could be about to lose 32000 of course, you could be about to win £125,000. And you have. It's the right answer. Very well played. <sighs> you could be about to lose £93,000. If you give me the wrong answer to this question, if you give me a correct answer, you'll win a quarter of a million. I would much rather that happen. So very best of luck to you. Let's have a look at question number 13 of a possible 15. For 250,000 pounds, which Italian footballer claimed his boarding guide is Aussie cricketer Alan Border, Christian Vieri, Paolo Malini, Angelo Peruzzi, and Nava Catuso? That'd be Christian Vieri. Right, it's a serious business. You've just decided to play on a question for a quarter of a million pounds. I can tell you. <gasps> it's the <laughs> right answer. You are a quarter of a millionaire. Fury is, uh, was born in Australia. So. Wow, things are still going very well indeed. You just keep giving me the right answer and I keep handing you bigger and bigger and bigger sums of money. I do have even more money that I could give you, starting with a virtual check for £500,000. But only if you can 
answer this next question. For 500,000 pounds, which horse did Steve Coffin ride to a famous U.S. Triple Crown in 1978? Nave Dancer, Affirmed, Seattle Slough, Aladar. That would be Affirmed. I must say, I love it when people play these big questions. You have 250,000 pounds. You now have 500,000 pounds, fantastic! John Crochet rode a Seattle Salute to a Triple Crown the year before Steve Coffin did a feat. <laughs> well, I'm not sure I've ever asked someone the million pound question without them having already used up all of their life funds. But you do now have a real chance to take out the million. And you might as well take advantage of the lifeline situation, even if you are sure. You know the answer. Let's hope we will all be celebrating. Here comes your fifteenth and final question. You do the honors, Mr. Tarrant. What does the instruction Yoshi mean when uttered by a judo referee? Begin. Do not move. Break. Continue. It's continue. Yes. Amazingly, you have decided to play the million pound question and you could have walked away with half a million pounds. But instead, you are walking away with one million pounds. You remember that fantastically well done. Not only have you won a million, you also got the chance to enter a draw to win a fantastic all expensive paid family holiday. Just text the winning vote. Very well done, and thanks for playing the family entertainment edition of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Thanks for watching.